world where you can access all the computing resources you need on demand and from anywhere without having to worry about owning or maintaining any of the hardware or software yourself. That's the world of cloud computing. Cloud computing is a new way to deliver IT services. It is a paradigm shift that is transforming the way we build, deploy and manage applications. Instead of buying, owning and maintaining physical servers, storage and networking equipment, you can simply rent these resources from a cloud provider. Cloud computing is being used in a wide range of innovative ways by organizations of all sizes. Cloud computing is the future of IT. It's a revolution in the way we access and use computing resources and it's changing the world at an astonishing pace. Why is cloud computing so attractive? It's helping startups to get off the ground quickly and easily and it's enabling established businesses to innovate and grow faster. As we continue to explore the full potential of this transformative technology, a number of important questions emerged. What were the best practices for ensuring the security of cloud-based data? How can cloud computing help my business improve its efficiency? When were cloud services started? What was the need of these services? Are there any limitations of cloud services? Before discussing and clearing all these questions and doubts, Let's know about the historical background of cloud computing. Before computing came into existence, client-server architecture was used where all the data and control of the client resides in the server side. If a single user wants to access some data, firstly, the user needs to connect to the server and after that, the user will get appropriate access. But it has many disadvantages. So, after client-server computing, distributed computing came into existence. In this type of computing, all computers are networked together. With the help of this, users can share their resources when needed. It also has certain limitations. So, in order to remove limitations faced in distributed system, cloud computing emerged. During 1961, John McCharity delivered his speech at MIT that computing can be sold as a utility, like water and electricity. According to John McCharity, it was a brilliant idea. But people at that time didn't want to adopt this technology. So, this was implemented by Salesforce.com in 1999. This company started delivering an enterprise applications over the internet and the way the boom of cloud computing was started. In 2002, Amazon started Amazon Web Services which provided storage computation over the internet. In 2006, Amazon launched Elastic Compute Cloud Commercial Service which is open for everybody to use. After that, in 2009, Google Play also started providing cloud computing enterprise applications as other companies will see the emergence of cloud computing, they also started providing their cloud services. Thus, in 2009, Microsoft launched Microsoft Azure. After that, other companies like Alibaba, IBM, Oracle, HP also introduced their cloud services. Today, cloud computing has become a very popular and important skill. How do I get started with cloud computing? There are many different cloud providers available, so you will need to choose the one that's right for your business needs. Once you have chosen a provider, you can start creating and deploying applications to the cloud. Limitations of Cloud Computing Cloud services are a great way to assess computing resources on demand, but they also have some limitations. Here are some of the most common limitations of cloud services. Downtime Cloud services are still susceptible to downtime just like any other IT system. Security and Privacy While cloud providers offer a variety of security features, it is important to remember that your data is still being stored and processed by a third party. This means that you need to carefully review the cloud provider security policies and procedures before making a decision. Vendor Lock-in once you have migrated your data and applications to a cloud platform, it can be difficult and expensive to switch to a different provider. 
This is because cloud providers use different proprietary technologies and APIs. Cost Cloud services can be very cost effective, but it is important to carefully monitor your usage to avoid unexpected charges. Some cloud providers charge for everything from storage and bandwidth to CPU usage and API calls. Limited control Cloud providers offer a wide range of services, but you may not have complete control over all of the settings and features. This can be a problem for businesses that need to comply with specific industry regulations or that have unique security requirements. The need for cloud computing arises for several reasons. First, scalability. Scalability in cloud services refers to the ability of a cloud computing system to adapt to changing computing requirements by either increasing or decreasing its resources, such as computing power, storage or network capacity on demand. This allows the system to adjust its resources cost efficiency. Businesses are increasingly adopting cloud services to improve efficiency, scalability and agility. However, managing cloud cost can be a challenge as there are many factors to consider such as resource utilization, pricing models and optimization strategies. Here are some key considerations for achieving cost efficiency in cloud services. Right sizing. Use the right amount of resources for your workload. Provisioning, which can lead to wasted resource, avoid over provisioning, which can lead to wasted resources and higher cost. Resource utilization. Monitor your, monitor your resource utilization and identify underutilized resources. Pricing models. Accessibility. Accessibility in cloud services is the practice of ensuring that cloud based products and services are usable by people with disabilities. This includes people with visual, auditory, motor or cognitive impairments. There are many reasons why accessibility in cloud services is important. Here are few of the most important. Inclusivity. Accessibility ensures that everyone has the opportunity to participate in the digital world. This includes people with disabilities who make up a significant portion of the population. Equal opportunity. Accessibility can help people with disabilities achieve their full potential, this including being able to work, learn and socialize only. Compliance. In many countries, there are laws that require businesses to make their products and services accessible to people with disabilities. Disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in cloud services refers to the strategies and services that organizations use to protect their data, applications and IT infrastructure from disasters and ensure business continuity. Cloud DR offers several advantages over traditional on-premises DR including reduced cost. Cloud DR can significantly reduce the cost of maintaining a secondary data center and IT staff. Increased scalability. Cloud DR can easily scale up or down to meet changing business needs. Improved agility. Cloud DR can be implemented more quickly and easily than traditional DR. Enhanced security. Cloud providers typically have more stringent security measures in place than on-premises data centers. Collaboration Cloud collaboration is a way for people to work together on projects using cloud-based tools and services. This can include sharing documents, editing files in real-time, communicating with team members and tracking project progress. Cloud collaboration can be used for a variety of projects, from small tasks to large, complex initiatives. There are many benefits to using cloud collaboration including increased productivity. Cloud collaboration tools can help teams to work more efficiently and effectively by providing them with a central location to share files, communicate and track progress. Security Security in cloud services refers to the security measures that are taken to protect cloud-based infrastructure, applications and data. Cloud security is a shared responsibility between the cloud provider and the cloud customer. 
The cloud provider is responsible for securing the infrastructure and the underlying cloud services, while the cloud customer is responsible for securing their data and applications. There are a number of different security measures that can be taken to protect cloud services, including access control. This involves controlling who can access cloud resources, such as data, applications, and infrastructure. Access control can be implemented using a variety of methods such as passwords, tokens, and biometrics. Data encryption. This involves encrypting data at rest and in transit to protect it from unauthorized access. Technology is constantly evolving and cloud computing providers are always looking for a new ways to improve their services. This means that the relationship between the technology and cloud computing is constantly changing. However, it is clear that cloud computing is heavily reliant on technology and the technology is essential for the continued development and growth of cloud computing.